rushing over the road so much. We could see the fire from our house. Pastor, how has it affected you as a pastor seeing your community utterly destroyed by this wildfire? You know, it's the second wildfire in the last three weeks. And between the two of them, we've had a lot of people impacted from one side or the other. A lot of leaders in the congregation are now fighting for their homes. It's been horrifying and worried about other church members, not just church members. We have members of our family that are sheriffs and they're working 24 hours a day. What would you like members of the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod from across the Synod to know about what's happening here? Knowing that prayers are essential, knowing that financial assistance is also essential, because these people, some of them, ran with maybe a purse, maybe a bag, nothing else. About 8 o'clock that night, you know, it had risen up probably about a foot within 30 minutes or so. We just said, better safe than sorry, let's get out of here. I think a lot of people don't realize is the amount of heat that there is here and how fast the mold grows in these homes that are flooded out. So it's not just that the homes got wet or are full of water or that the water drained out, that they gotta get all the muddy, dirty, moldy, drywall, flooring, carpeting out of their homes as soon as possible. We did just return from Baton Rouge doing flood recovery. We got home just a little over 24 hours ago. And really what's happened now, because the water has, for the most part, receded, uh, folks are able to now get in and start to do the work. And a lot, of, a lot of the work of bringing belongings out of the houses has begun, but there's still a lot of work to do in helping folks Pray for the people of the Southern District, especially in Baton Rouge and surrounding areas. And then if they can send volunteers down here, sign up for that. And then, as always, funds are always needed to help people recover. It's interesting, you read about the recovery efforts that are happening in Baton Rouge, and mostly it's the church groups that are doing the work. It's the body of Christ helping the body of Christ. 